Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex and this month we're going to focus back in on their music player called Plex Amp. This music player requires a Plex Pass subscription, but I know a lot of you really like it, especially given how much they keep updating the feature set on it. And in this video, we're going to look at two new features. One is an AI-driven DJ that can present music to you based on things that sound sonically similar to each other. And we're also going to look at using these little NFC tags that I've got in this plastic bag here to allow you to tap your way to your favorite music. You could even stick one of these on a CD, for example, and just tap the CD to have it play from your Plex library. And we're gonna take a closer look at all of these features in just a second, but I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what these new features are all about. Now, we did cover this sonic analysis feature in depth a few months back, so definitely check out that video. In a nutshell, what it does is that it takes essentially sound prints of every song in your library and then finds other songs that sound like the song you're listening to. So, for example, we're playing the Dave Matthews Band song called Two Step from their Crash album. And if I go over to show similar tracks, what it's going to do is look for tracks that sound similar to this one that are in my music library. And if you have a large library, this can be a really great way to find music that you forgot about that might be lurking in the library there. But you can take it a step further now with this new guest DJ feature. So right now I'm just playing the Dave Matthews song here. As you can see, it's going to play the entire album right now by default. But if I click on this little DJ icon at the bottom, I have some new options here. The first one is called DJ Stretch. And what it's going to do is take us on a sonic adventure where we kind of veer off from the album we're listening to, but listen to songs that are very similar. So if I click that button right now and then go to my Up Next, you'll see that it's going to play a pair of songs that sound like the one I'm listening to, and then it will go back to the album that I was uh, currently listening to. So I can veer off and then come back to Dave Matthews, but still keep the vibe that Dave Matthews has. And if there's an artist like Nirvana that has a song with a similar vibe, it's going to pull that one up because it sounds similar to what I'm already listening to. Now they also have one where instead of going off with two songs, it'll give you a single song in between tracks. So if I select DJ Gemini here, you can see that I've got a song from a soundtrack here. And if I go and listen to that song, it'll play it. And then if I click next again, it will go back to Dave Matthews. And then the song after that will have another sonically similar song. So you can jump back and forth here. Now let's say we wanted to veer off from the album that we started with, but still keep things sonically similar. Well, there's a DJ for that as well. So here we are on Nirvana Unplugged. But my next song right now is going to go back to the Dave Matthews band. But if I select our guest DJ again, and go over to DJ Freeze, what's going to happen now is I'm going to be presented with a running list of sonically similar songs that may or may not include Dave Matthews. As you can see, I've got two songs here, one from REM and one from Veruca Salt, a lot of 90s going on here. And as we continue on through different tracks, you can see that it's pulling up songs other than Dave Matthews to present to me based on tracks that sound sonically similar to the one I'm listening to. So we may not get back to the Dave Matthews band here, but we're staying within that sonically similar uh, sound of the songs that we're playing as we continue our musical journey here. And then maybe we land on an artist that we haven't listened to in a while, but we want to hear more from. So the DJ can help us out with that too. So we're gonna go back here as you can see, Red Hot Chili Peppers came up on my list, and I'm going to tap the DJ button again. And this time I'm going to go to DJ Twofer. And what this will do is give me another song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers before it goes back to where we started from. So as you can see here, up next is another Red Hot Chili Peppers song. And then it's going to go back to the Dave Matthews Band album that we were playing. So if I hit next here, and then hit next again, you can see that we've got Dave Matthews, and because we have the two first selected, my next track will be another Dave Matthews song until I change the DJ again. 
Now what I can also do is pull up music from the same era. So let's say we don't care what it sounds like, we just want to hear some more 90s stuff. I can select that. Now what'll happen here though is you may end up with different genres of music. So as I go through here, we're gonna see more and more stuff coming from the 90s, including things that sound a little different or some things that sound a lot different. So for example, Andreas Wallenweider, the new age artist is in here and we're gonna hear a song from him that he released around the same time that this song from REM came out. So that's some of the things that uh, you can experience here when you turn off that sonic analysis. You also have one here called DJ Groupie, and this will ensure that the tracks you listen to will come from the same artist as you keep rolling forward, irrespective of what they sound like. So as you get further down the list here, there'll be less sonic analysis going on, but uh, you can change what you're hearing and listening to on the fly while still getting really good recommendations based on the mood that you're in. And then of course, you can shut it all off here by uh, tapping the guest DJ off button. And what this will do is bring us back to the album where we started. And I found that the sonic analysis here works really well at finding tracks that sound similar. And this is one of the neat features that, again, they added a little while back, but now there's a really nice way to make use of it that doesn't require a lot of tapping. You just tell the app which DJ you want and the music will come up for you based on your preferences. Now, as a reminder, in order for sonic analysis to work, you need to set up your library to do the analysis. And if you go into your music library here and go to edit, you will see the option here under advanced to run the sonic analysis. And what this will do is every time you add music to your library in the process of that music getting cataloged, it will also run through the analysis of the tracks. And if you add in a bunch of music all at once, this might take a while depending on the resources that your server has available to it. But once it's done, those sound prints will be available uh, for analysis within this feature. So let's move on now to this NFC feature. If you've never played with NFC tags before, head over to Amazon and buy a few. They're super cheap and a lot of fun to play around with because you can set these things to have your phone do all sorts of cool functions just by tapping on them physically. And one of the things you could envision with this is maybe having these things stuck to the side of a physical album. And then when you tap your phone to it, Plexamp will play it for you. Now, right now we're in Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill album here. And the way this NFC feature works on Plexamp is if you go over to the share button here at the bottom and you go to write NFC tag, you can have this tag bring you right to that album on Plexamp. And in this case, actually start playing the album back. Now, if I tap this button here and turn it into an eyeball, it will just land me on the page. But when you have the speaker icon selected here, it'll actually play it back. So why don't we do that? We'll set that to right. What I'm gonna do here is just put the phone on top of the tag. And as you can see here, it was able to write it out. And now that the tag has been programmed, if I take the tag and just scan the uh, top of my phone here, you can see it'll prompt me to play back Jagged Little Pill from the beginning just by tapping on this. And it's not just inside of Plexiamp. I can do it anywhere in the phone's interface here. So right now I'm just on my home screen. And if I tap it on here, you can see that it prompts me and brings me right over to the album. And you're not just limited to albums, you can also put playlists on these tags as well. And if you're curious what kind of data gets written to it, I found this neat utility on the iPhone called NFC Tools. And if I just tap on read here with the tag that we wrote out a few minutes ago, I can go down here and see exactly what data is embedded. Basically just a URL here, a shortcut, that loads up the Plex Amp app and takes you, in this case, to the Alanis Morissette album. Now, I did find the NFC experience to be a little better on Android. So here I've got a Pixel phone. And if I just put my phone down on top of the tag here, you can see it brings me right to the album and starts playing it without having to tap on anything first. But all in, you can see 
how fun it is to program these tags to do different things. And you're not just limited to uh, Plex Amp here. There's a lot of other shortcuts that you can use these NFC tags for. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. So there you go, some really cool features added to Plex Amp. If you've got a big library, I think that new DJ feature is going to be very fun because I think you'll start finding stuff you forgot about that's been lurking on your server for a while. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I want to thank Plex for their long-standing support of the channel. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic AGR, Tom Albrecht, and I'm the Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.